You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. Dying is easy, young man. Living is harder. The name of American, which belongs to you in your national capacity, must always exalt the just pride of patriotism more than any appellation derived from local discriminations. With slight shades of difference, y'all have the same religion, manners, habits, and political principles. You have a common cause fought and triumphed together. The independence and liberty you possess are the work of joint councils and joint efforts of common dangers sufferings and successes. All the parts combined cannot fail to find in the united mass of means and efforts greater strength, greater resource, proportionably greater security from external danger, a less frequent interruption of their peace by foreign nations The alternate domination of one faction over another, sharpened by the spirit of revenge, natural to party dissension, which in different ages and countries has perpetrated the most horrid enormities, is itself a frightful despotism. Observe good faith and justice towards all nations. Cultivate peace and harmony with all. I will only say that I have, with good intentions, contributed towards the organization and administration of the government the best exertions of which a very fallible judgment was capable. The unity of government, which constitutes you one people, is also not dear to you, it is justly so, for it is a main pillar in the edifice of your real independence, the support of your tranquility at home. Your peace abroad, of your safety, of your prosperity, of that very liberty which you so highly prize. Interwoven as is the love of liberty, with every ligament of your hearts, no recommendation of mine is necessary to fortify or confirm the attachment. and offering to you, my countrymen, these counsels of an old and affectionate friend, I dare not hope they will make the strong and lasting impression I could wish, that they will control the usual crud of the passions, or prevent our nation from running the course which has hitherto marked the destiny of nations. But if I may even flatter myself that they may be productive of some partial benefit, some occasional good. Of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, religion, and morality are indispensable supports in vain. Would that man claim the tribute of patriotism? Who should labor to subvert these great pillars of human happiness, these firmest props of the duties of men and citizens? 
promote than as an object of primary importance. Institutions for the general diffusion of knowledge in proportion as the structure of a government gives force to public opinion. It is essential that public opinion should be enlightened. Every day the increasing weight of your Z admonishes me more and more that the shade of retirement is as necessary to me as it will be welcome. Not unconscious in the outset of the inferiority of my qualifications, experience in my own eyes, perhaps, still more in the eyes of others has strengthened the motives to diffidence of myself. In reviewing the incidents of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error. I am nevertheless as sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. Please like, subscribing, share my channel. Thank you for watching.